I know that everyone in lockdown has been watching quite a bit of telly and we've all been having a lot more movie nights than we would normally and every time we sit down for a movie night someone wants snacks so today i thought we might try making our own tortilla chips and some salsa now then all we need for this is our tortilla wraps again and we're going to cut those up into the classic triangle shape that like our doritos and things come in now um, all i'm going to do is cut the wrap itself into three just like this so we've got two ends and the middle bit and then we're gonna alternate it so that we're gonna cut it like this so that we get our triangle shape so we'll just do that zigzagging across the rack and then we just put them flat on our baking tray I've got the oven heated up already and I've got that set at about 150 we did it at 100 we did have it on 200 earlier but um, that seemed to be just a little bit too high and what we're trying to do really is to dry out the actual tortillas because obviously they're, they're floppy at the moment because we have them to wrap our burritos or um, do other things like that with and make our quesadillas but today we want them to go a bit harder so that we can scoop our salsa and it can be lovely and tasty right well, i'm just going to do the last couple here and then we'll add some seasoning to that so so what i've got today is some um red salt this is red salt if you've not seen it before basically it's a combination of different things there's some garlic and onion in there there's paprika and chili and obviously salt um and so it's just a combination of things but whatever you've got in your cupboard even if you've only got a bit of salt and pepper that works really well as well so another thing a good little thing to do if you like the cheesy ones if anybody's got those boxes of cheesy pasta with a little sachet inside of the powder that you add to it then that powder is really good on these i don't have any at the moment because my little boy is eating all the cheesy pasta in the house that's one of his favorites but um yeah that works really well with these so we've got our tortillas now laid out in their triangles on our basically just like this now what we're going to do is get a bit of our spray oil and give them a little spritz and all this is doing is creating a surface where whatever it is you're putting on for your seasoning is actually going to stick because we don't want all our seasonings and all our flavorings falling off so i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of my red salt over my fake dorito and then simply pop this into the oven now the one good thing about doing this is if anybody's ever bought a packet of the tortilla chips and you tip them out into the bowl you get a few that are all grey and full and then you get loads at the bottom that aren't quite full they're all crunched up and you get bits and with this you are guaranteed every time you pick one up it's going to be a whole one so that's a positive that's a good thing no one to argue over the crumbs at the bottom and say that they didn't get enough tortillas so we've put that in the oven and we'll leave it in there for probably about five to ten minutes and we'll crack on with our salsa now with our salsa i've got my classic spring onions which i seem to be using all the time they're my favorite onions spring onions so we've got spring onions we've got some coriander and I've got three different types of tomatoes. I've got the baby plum tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes, and a large vine tomato here. But I'm sure it really does not matter what tomatoes you have. And I've got a red pepper, a little bit of sweetness. Then I've got some passata. That's just if we need it for a bit, a little bit of extra um, sort of liquid, a bit of juiciness. We don't want to be adding water or anything like that to, you know, sort of dilute it down so a little bit of passata if you've got it to pop in there and then we want to add that little bit of a twang that you tend to get with salsa a little bit of the vinegariness that you get with it 
So we're using gherkins. We're going to chop them up and put them through as well. So I've just got a little hand blender and we're just going to use that. So I'm just basically chopping up all of these things and we're going to put it into the jug. So that's my up spring onion. We're going to chop up those bits of coriander. And obviously this starts to smell nice. We'll just cut up our tomato. And hopefully my hand blender will be good enough to get through all this. We don't want it really, really smooth. We want it to have a few bits of chunks in it because then every bite of salsa you have tastes slightly different. Um, so we're just chopping all this up now and we'll just add it to our jug. There we go. So that's the large tomato and the onion and the coriander going in there. And then we want oh, all my little tomatoes are rolling away. Oh, definitely. So we'll chop these through and we'll put these in. This is good because it means that while you're waiting on your chips to be cooking in the oven, you've got something else to do to while away the time while you're waiting on them. And then a bit of our pepper as well. If you haven't got red or you've got yellow or green or orange, it really doesn't matter. It just gives a bit of sweetness and a bit of a crunch to it. And the wonderful thing about this salsa is we're making it with all fresh produce and that gives it a really fresh taste and you will really notice the difference between this and the type that you get in the jar. So there we go, just roughly chopped it all and we'll pop that in as well. If you've got a food processor, in a couple of seconds in your food processor and this will be done if you're lucky enough to have that to hand. Now I can smell our tortillas in the oven and they smell divine because obviously they're starting to cook through and dry out and you can smell that lovely spicy flavour that we've put on coming through. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the passata to this. There we go, and this is what it's looking like, and we're going to give it a blitz. So this will be noisy, hum a little tune while I'm blitzing. <laughs> here and you'll be able to see how that looks so there we are so we're not too finely blitzed it we've not made it into a smooth paste or anything we want it nice and chunky so that we can get all those lovely flavors and all those different combinations of flavors and we like it quite juicy so that's lovely there we go so that's our salsa. Now, I'll have a check on these. I reckon there's a couple of minutes left for those. But in the meantime, I did some that I did earlier. So I've got our salsa here, and I've got our chips here. This is how they've come out. Listen to the snack. Lovely. Now, I've got two little people over here that are waiting to try these, and they wanted to share their enthusiasm for them with you. So guys, chips! So these are, these are the spicy ones here, and these ones are the salty ones. There's a couple of salty ones in there. Do you want to try it and have a little bit of salsa? And tell me what you think. Is this one spicy? Is this one spicy? Have a little bit there, Hamish. Tell us what you think. <laughs> I 
They're good? Oh, well. There you go. We have the seal of approval. We've not made these before, but we may well be making them again. So keep happy, keep healthy, and keep safe. And we love it, guys, that you keep watching. Bye. Bye.